What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the Sony PS3 Media slash Blu-ray Remote Control. Now it looks a hell of a lot like the older remote that shipped originally alongside the PS3, but this one is quite a bit different. It's uh, got an infrared sensor to go with the Bluetooth connectivity, meaning it's going to be able to interface with your television, your AV equipment, etc., Whereas the old remote control in my left hand here was Bluetooth only. So basically it only functioned as a PS3 remote and that was it. Now the reason why this is important is because the new PS3 display, the 3D display they came out with for the holiday season here, the one that I recently unboxed, if you haven't seen that I'll put a link in the annotations as well as down in the description, the new display did not ship with a remote. You may remember me saying that. A huge headache. People are like, what am I going to do? I got to reach around. I got to walk up to the display every time I want to turn it off. Well, it's not a perfect solution. We do wish, obviously, that this was included in the display's box, but it wasn't. So it's your only way now to, you know, interact with your television or PS3 display, I should say, with a remote. You've got to go pick this up. Now, Sony did include batteries, which is always a welcome thing. Nobody likes to go searching for batteries when they get a new device. As you'll notice, there are a number of new buttons and functions on this new remote that did not exist on the previous version. You've got that big empty space on the bottom side of the older Bluetooth-only remote, and that's been filled with volume and channel buttons. That's because this can now be your universal remote control. It can control your television as well as your PS3. There's also some added buttons along top. I'll give you a closer look in a minute. So here's the older remote, and as you'll notice, there's this big hunk of space below the Bluetooth icon that isn't being used for anything. Kind of strange for a Sony remote control. And here's the new one. Now you've got a TV button. You've got a button for your amplifier, input selector, 3D on and off for compatible televisions, device selector. You've got your regular PlayStation stuff in the center. This is pretty much identical to the older one. And then down on the bottom, you've got your volume and channel. And you can see the icons on the bottom side identifying that it's both infrared and Bluetooth. Unlike this old model, you'll see there's no infrared sensor on the front side. It's Bluetooth only. Whereas the new one, I'll give you a quick look at it and I'll show you the fact that it does have an infrared sensor on the front, as I mentioned earlier, allowing it to interface with with all your standard AV equipment that uses that technology. Anyway, guys, if you're out shopping this holiday season and you need one of these or you picked up that display that was remote-less, make sure you get the newer one. Look for those volume and channel buttons. Otherwise, tell the person at the store to go in the back because oftentimes they have them back there. They just didn't know to replace the older ones with the newer ones. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, hopefully you can like and favorite this video as it does help me out a bunch. If you haven't subscribed yet, hey, why not do so? I got a lot more content on the way and many more products just in time for Christmas that we're going to cover. And also, if you haven't checked out my new channel, please do so. It's called The Beast Feed. I'll put a link in front of your face. It's uh, pretty interesting stuff that you just might enjoy. So hey, why not come check it out? All right. Later, guys. See you around.